Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And it's about time we revisit the King Song S18 suspension electric unicycle. So, let me tell you more about it. Broadway. Wow, <laughs> and huge thanks, of course, to my e-wheel for providing me this wheel for testing purposes. Right now, I'm actually in Bulgaria. I'm here on a trip. I paid the flight here, but the hotel has been sponsored by my e-wheel, so I want to stay straightforward and clear with you guys. Anyways, it's been a while since we've ridden, since we've tried the S18, and if you remember the initial review, it wasn't really positive. And whilst quite a lot of things stay the same sort of like the small battery the overpowering and all the other stuff uh, there's some things i didn't appreciate that much initially about the s18 and this is sort of what i want to focus on in this review okay so this is the first wheel with suspension by king song uh, by king song so uh, in the meantime we also have a second batch and i've already taken a look at it and the suspension also works way better. First uh, batches of the S18 had a very like radley suspension or it, it wasn't really fluent. And if you look at this first, first batch, King Song, it still makes a lot of the noises, but hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on on a second batch and then I can show you like how the newest version of the S18 sort of uh, behaves. As far as the things that I don't like, small battery, the battery tags are huge, over 40 kilometers an hour, you can't accelerate really hard then. Sometimes also when doing hill climbs, I, I was doing quite a bit of hill climbs here in Bulgaria, maybe 30, 35 degrees. After a while, uh, it beeps at me, so it's overpowered.
the battery in the S18 has to be bigger. And there's some mods uh, in this world where people did a 20S 4P battery, so 20 more batteries, battery cells, here's just 60. And I believe that King Song should have done it from, from the beginning with the ba bigger battery. If you're heavy, you can cut out on the wheel. Like all these things stay the same basically on the S18. The quality that I didn't like at the, at the beginning, it's just so different from the V11. Now I also realize that it's a lot of fun and it's a great wheel to ride on if you are considering what capabilities it has. Also while doing stairs, jumps and heavy off-road, there's no pedal dipping at all. Maybe the only pedal dipping I had ever was when taking a long turn on at high speed, but all like cobblestone, going up, going downstairs, it, it just lays flat and that is amazing. Go on the route. In terms of range, if you ride slower, like as you probably should on the AS18, I think you're good with 50 kilometers, maybe if you ride really slowly, 60. So, you know, it's less than bigger capacity wheels, but for most small cities, I guess that's enough. So, once I was riding it here, it's a 18 inch wheel, it feels really light. It feels much lighter than I think most 18 inch wheels that are currently on the market. It's very zippy. It accelerates very seamlessly. And if you are going always between like zero and 30 kilometers an hour or 15 miles an hour, 18, um, even 35, it's a lot of fun in this, uh, in this area. And it's so easy to jump it. It's pr pretty much the only wheel that is, has built in sort of power pads. So your wheel slots in here and it's impossible to fall, fall out of here. Uh, it's, it's really cool. I don't like the top padding still. I think it's too wide here and then you have a groove where your leg sort of slides in and there's not enough of a wall here in the front to keep your foot in here. It just sort of slides out when you have it here. So I don't like the top padding situation. Before I had the uh, UC guy side pads on the top here and they work much, much, much better than the stock pads on the S18. But this lower groove is sort of where your um, foot gets all the friction and it's so nice to just jump it it's a lot of fun to jump actually I'll, I'll move to the suspension in a bit but yeah this thing I, I guess I didn't appreciate it enough the, the foot plates are very thin but they're uh, rather long I guess they're really similar to what you really get but they're not enough on a, of a V angle here I think they should be uh, more more angled. One thing maybe I also don't understand or maybe Kingston could add in the future is a off-road tire because in my eyes this is clearly a wheel that is designed for off-road use and trails so a Kenda and K666 tire or the tire that is on the Sherman would be really cool to have on this wheel because whilst this will be I love this tire I love the H5102 it's great for the city use but uh, for trailer riding, you need a bit of a deeper thread to have uh, more grip. So maybe that's something King Song could add. It's really simple to just add another tire to the selection. If there's, of course, enough room here in the, in the wheel compartment. See that? That's it's, uh, that broke in my case. Uh -huh. yeah, it, it doesn't have magnets. It's like the small metal part. And they also added this to not like uh, bruise the plastic. <laughs> that this is like clearly an afterthought but the cool thing is actually the motherboard is on top so oh that's good yeah there's like even if water were to come in it's not in the motherboard it's like essentially like here like on the sherman but anyways i still don't like the trolley handle you can take a look at it here i just don't don't get it at all like i turned off the lift sensor now because this was just bothering me so if the lift sensor is on in this position you can just push it at like one kilometer an hour and if it's for some reason just flips out by accident and you come into a stop then it will just flip in the front <laughs> uh it's it's not the best trolley handle when it comes to like the this thing but it's on a nice height and it's very comfortable to just you know push it around and if the lift sensor is off, then you can also do this. Turn it off because the button is really close to your finger and easier lift it up. So I think even if King Song did that and made the plastic a bit longer, 
like this would, would have been just better because I can ride it like that. It's a bit of a like friction here because of the sharp edges, but sometimes I just ride, especially when I'm going like uphill or some more crazy stuff with the trolley handle, handle up because then I can just grab the wheel. If it's like this, I, I can't grab it. You know, some of the things didn't change. The single charge port is not the fastest uh, way to charge up the wheel. It takes a while with the stock charger and the light in the front, pretty bro broad like beam, but I wouldn't say it's like as good as the 16X, even though people were saying, I mean, Kingsong is saying that it's brighter. I don't think so. There's no battery indicator that is really good, um, like usually on the, on the Kingsong wheels. So yeah, it's mudguard. Oh, actually this one stays in place. Nice. <laughs> But let's move on to the ride of this wheel, because I think this is something I didn't focus enough before. It's very easy to accelerate, as I said before, the pedals are really high off the ground. Not as high as the V11, but higher than most wheels out there, so it's really fun to take sharp turns. It's not an issue to go off-road on this wheel. There's these things, these blocks, uh, they're really sharp, so you have to really if you want to clear a curb, you can't go sideways, you have to go straight ahead. But if you do that, both in the front and in the rear, there's a huge departure and arrival angle. So whatever, you know, hill you want to take on or a jump, the wheel won't scratch. I mean, unless you go sideways. So that's a really cool design. Also the suspension, man, it, it just works great. And I thought at the beginning, like maybe for comfort riding in a, in a street, in a city, it's better to have the V11. It's very similar, but Actually, I was wrong. I think that the S18 has the better suspension here. And especially if you pump it up now, I have it at 200, I think 60, 70 PSI. So really close to the limit of 300 PSI. Uh, it just gives you so much freedom and it just works great. So for jumps, I, I think that's the best wheel currently. <laughs> you just have so much control because of the side pads the uh, the travel is really big and you can also change the damper for a different one in te terms of also um, damper adjustment it's the easiest wheel because well you can take the king song block but you can also just do this <laughs> and then remove that and and adjust your suspension so it's really easy no need to like flip it on the side like the v11 and have two shocks not to say like what's happening on the EX, there it's very difficult. But all in all, the ride is just so much fun. And because of the combination of zippiness and agility, sort of lightness as well, because it's not as heavy as the V11, for example, and the balance as well, makes it really, really a lot of fun to ride in a city. Like you can go much faster on very poor quality roads like this on the S18, and it gets you so much less fatigue. If you go on trails, this feels much better and I think Marty from Electric Unicycles will agree with me here. But anyways, there's also some things about safety I didn't uh, consider before because I think the S18 is the first wheel by King Song that has a housing for the battery cells. And recently, you know, we are more concerned with safety uh, regarding a couple of fires of UCs. So in the front here, there is a box for, for the battery cells. Uh, of this wheel and I think in the rear here is one one more and therefore the battery cells are really well protected here and the S18 also has a fuse so if you were to overpower it for some reason going up a hill long time and you still keep going even it makes the alarms and all that stuff at a low battery uh, in this in a extreme situation or if some sort of battery cell or something else happens to the wheel because it's broken or just falls there is a fuse, so the fuse will be the weakest point here, so you won't burn a motherboard right away if something happens to the electrical circuitry. And another thing I didn't consider before is that it still has a lot of torque, 
maybe not as much as the 16X because it doesn't have the same amount of battery capacity, but it still has a lot and it feels really zippy compared to the V11 and basically all, all in motion wheels. Not as powerful as the Gotways, but still really, really decent. In terms of safety, it also has this, I think, emergency pedal lift. On the other video I made uh, a while ago, you saw me accelerating from zero to 40 kilometers an hour and then suddenly I stopped because there was a pedal dip. And actually, this is a safety feature, it turns out. So it doesn't cut you out right away, but it will sort of, maybe I can show it to you here, it will sort of do this really quick. So if you are an experienced enough rider, you'll be able to stay on the wheel if that happens. So yeah, this is also sort of a safety feature I didn't consider before but you know now that I've tried even more wheels and you know every one of us is learning I know of it now you know the first review had a very you know maybe negative image of the S18 and in, in many regards it still holds up like with the small battery and stuff but there's some things like if you don't need so much range if you don't need so much acceleration if you're not a speed freak um, this wheel is really a lot of fun and if I had to choose the same amount, like same length of route between the S18 and the V11, I would probably take it on the on the S18 because you know I've I've sold my V11. I I thought it was like a commuter, but you know stuff was breaking, and then I didn't want to repair it, and and on and on and on. But this is quite a lot of quite a lot of fun. But still, if you're heavier, don't get it. If you're a speed junkie, don't get it. If you want to have the most bang on of, for the buck, for like city use, probably this is not the best bang for the buck. But if you live in a very like difficult area where there's like lots of bad streets, if you love trails, if you want something to go uh, in the mountains, like mountain biking and stuff, unless you, unless you like actively try to overpower it, you are fine. I was going on at 48 kilometers an hour and it's fine, but in the upper speed regions, you really need to watch out. But from zero to 30 kilometers an hour, you're pretty much, pretty much fine. So in the end, there is, I think, a niche for, for the S18 and maybe it's you. I think it's still a fun wheel, uh, but you just need to take in consideration all the disadvantages that, um, that come with it. So I guess if you're still here, Leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon. Mm.